on YouTube, man. Listen to my voice. <laughs> What's up, guys? It's your boy E from Yam Tom Bao. Oh, man, it's been a minute. You know, I'm about to just one take this because your boy don't really care these days. <laughs> Where do I start, man? I've been busy. I feel like I've been busy at least. So your boy got about two weeks until the baby drop. Yeah, am I scared? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I don't know if this is like a midlife crisis. I don't even know when that happens. Does that happen like when you're in your thirties, you know? So we started buying a whole bunch of random shit. <laughs> so your boy need another source of income. <laughs> so that's why we back on YouTube, baby. <laughs> I told myself I would commit more to YouTube. Maybe like a video a week or something. Nothing crazy. Yeah, definitely need to work on the consistency. But yeah, I hope you guys stay tuned. Hit the hit the little subscribe button or whatever. And um, rock with your boy, man. Because we got some goodies. I don't even know what direction I'm going to take this channel in. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys a couple pickups before the baby came out. <laughs> and show you guys what I've been using your baby shower money on. So this is all just kind of like real pointless things that I've bought over the past month <laughs> instead of preparing for the baby. Um, first one you can see right here, actually, but you can see it right there. This is a, a surfboard. <laughs> Honestly, uh, I mean, it has a story to it. See, that's the thing. Like this surfboard, um, when I first started nursing, I took care of this guy in Tampa and he was a surfer. And, you know, being close to the water, I've always been interested in, in surfing. Um, that and the fact that Deep water is like a fear of mine. And what better time to conquer a fear than um, when you're about to have a baby. <laughs> so yeah, I was taking care of this guy in Tampa and I asked him, you know, what kind of surfboard should I get? And he recommended a Lost Mayhem crowd killer. You know, you just end up on YouTube and you just end up watching random videos for like 10 hours. And I was doing that <laughs> and ended up on surfing videos. I just kept watching them and watching them. I started looking at like what kind of things our local surf shop had. Look what we found. It's a used board. The issue with it was there was a small ding on the nose. So I bought some of this uh, solar res and um, patched that right up and we're good to go. So first frivolous purchase right there, Lost Mayhem Crowd Killer. So just last weekend, I took Jamie to Nashville for Little Baby Moon. Um, it was fun, we had a good time. Um, another thing I had been looking at for maybe the past couple years was a pair of cowboy boots. <laughs> I started really getting into boots maybe like three years ago. With the quality of boot making, um, those things will last you forever. But I do own one pair of cowboy boots, which I bought on a previous trip to Nashville. Um, I just picked them up at a Buffalo exchange, kind of sporadically, just saw them on the wall. So I wanted something that was less costume-like and more casual that I can kind of work into a, a rotation to be honest. I've been following this brand for a minute. Got them. We got the pair, baby. Woo! Tacovas. Funny story with the Tacovas. we were in Nashville. I knew there was a store there, but they're, um, they don't show up on maps for some reason. So me and Jamie go in the store and, you know, I wanted to try them on just to see, to get the sizing, because eventually I knew I was going to buy a pair. I know they do like all these limited runs. I kind of wanted to just get my sizing right. That way when the limited run drops, and then I could just cop, you know what I'm saying? That's how I missed out on the Brady's, the Barrett's, all the birthday boots, whatever. I'm not a big returner person, so I don't really know why. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I think it's just the hassle of it. I tried them on. I'm literally just standing right outside the store and I'm contemplating with Jamie if I should get the boots or not. She's saying no. <laughs> Go back in the store. I get the beer and a koozie and we pick up the boots. Honestly, I haven't opened them since we got back from Nashville. <laughs> we got the Cartwrights and a Bourbon Calf. This is a box. Tacova's branding all around. Um, see inside, there's a lot of back and forth when it comes to Tacova's boots. I think the original guy just sold the business to uh, a larger manufacturer. Just something to keep an eye out, I guess, as far as their quality goes, things like that. This just recently happened, maybe within the past couple weeks. That's business, but they come wrapped up like this. Oh my god, it smells so good. Just that leather. It's like the first real pair of cowboy boots that I've purchased. And they feel so soft. Oh, this thing is crazy. The quality is there, you can tell. I can already tell these are probably going to scuff easily. Which, um, again, these are cowboy boots. I plan on wearing them and beating them. I'm not overly concerned about keeping them clean. I don't know, something weird about a clean pair of cowboy boots. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. But you got leather outsoles with Tacova branding on the bottom. There's a rubber heel right there. 
stability so you don't slip around everywhere. You got your two boot pull tabs on the side there. A little western design coming up the front and the back. Then you got a little design on the midfoot there. It's another boot tab to the collection. I, I will say this is probably not going to be my last Tacovas purchase. I'm really impressed with the craftsmanship and the uh, quality of the boot. I did promise myself though to justify the purchase that these will be replacing my Birkenstocks. <laughs> so anything that I do in my Birkenstocks, I'm gonna be wearing these instead. I do everything in my Birkenstocks, so. Yeah, this is the new Birkenstock. <laughs> I'll do more of a full review of these once I start wearing them. I can give you guys better insight on, you know, purchasing some Tacoba's boots. But for now, I'm just gonna sit here and smell them. <laughs> and then last pickup, um, nothing crazy here. For some reason, I just, I never had a wallet. <laughs> I only really carry two cards with me. I don't, I don't like the, the chunkiness of a wallet in the pocket. Um, and I don't, I feel like when you have a wallet, you end up carrying more things than you need. This is my two-tone Louis card holder. Um, and it's perfect. It still smells good. I've had it for a while now. I still got the box. I don't know why it's still here. No one really cares about that. But um, That's about it, man. Three pickups before the baby drop. Only one is really useful. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, man, I just wanted to share with you guys, catch up with y'all, man, chop it up a little bit. It's been a minute and uh, catch y'all up on life, man. Like I said, plan, video a week, not sure yet of the direction, but um, we in there now, for real, for real, man. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Like, let me know if y'all want to see more reviews, if y'all want to see me on a board. <laughs> yeah, man, that's it for now. Until next time, guys. Peace.